you know, those of you who have been watching my live streams for some time have probably seen a, a ton of mistakes that I've made. You know, one time I accidentally muted the audio. Uh, last week, we heard a delay or an echo during the live stream. Uh, during an interview, I've had the video lag because there wasn't enough bandwidth problem. Everything. Like, I've even lost power in the middle of a live stream. And one time, the streaming service, no, not just one time, like multiple times, the streaming service itself would not start even after I restarted my computer, right? Like, so in terms of problems, I've experienced pretty much all of them. And I want you to know that it was my most embarrassing moments. Though it was those times when I questioned if I was really suited for doing live presentations. It was the times when I was most humbled by technology that I learned the most. If we are too afraid to fail, then we will never try and we will never learn. When our live video is not working, it is easy to blame technology. Oh, I've got an old computer, or ah, I hate Google Meet. Uh, or we can even blame our own tech competence. You can go, ah, you know what, I'm, I'm just not a techie. But that won't help us improve. The only thing that does help is asking the question, why? Why did the video not work? Was it because another program was using the video? Does restarting the computer solve the problem? We need to build a habit of celebrating failures because we are really celebrating learning. You know, after one really bad live stream, I decided to finally write down all of the mistakes that I had made into an improvement list. You know, my goal was to write down the cause of the mistake and the way that I would resolve this issue in the future. I would reward myself every time I came up with a way to avoid those mistakes in the future. Now, for, for some, <laughs> a reward is what? Chocolate. Like what's a reward for you? For me, it's buying uh, tech gadgets. Um, at times, the solution has required that I buy some tech equipment in order to help me solve this issue. Or sometimes I have to pay for a subscription to a software tool that would save me time. Uh, and I'm not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but I'm always learning and improving. Uh, the tech tips that I'm sharing with you today are really just scratching the surface of what I've learned over time. I, honestly, it would take days or maybe even weeks to share with you all of the tips and the tricks that I've learned uh, over, over time. And so that's exactly why I want to put together the lessons that I've learned into a creator like kind of master class. Uh, like ideally a course that goes into the details of being more confident live uh, from not only the equipment that will best serve your goals to also strategies for engaging a live audience uh, to even reusing the video from a live play in, in the future. So for example, every, let's say, 45 minute to an hour live stream that I do, uh, it's turned in to a 60 second video. And um, it's turned into three 60 second video previews. It's turned into three 10 minute videos and one podcast and one blog post. And so if you want to know how this is done, I want you to reach out to me. Um, just send me a message uh, because I'm planning on creating this like circle uh, for creators. 
And I'd like to know like what specific things you'd like me to cover in a course.